first one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Use some soap. Don't be nasty. Use some soap. So the first part is a binomial. The second part is a trinomial. Okay? So I teach my students a little song. Okay? And that tells them what goes in every position. Okay? So the song goes... First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Uh-huh. <laughs> Make sure you use some soap. That's the whole thing. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Use some soap. <laughs> It's obnoxious. They don't like it. But here we are. <laughs> okay, so, and then, so when I say use some soap, you don't want to be dirty. You don't want to be nasty. You want to use some soap. So the S in soap stands for same. So the sign that you're going to put in this position is the same sign that you started off with. So if you started off with a plus, it's a plus. If you started off with a minus, it's a minus. Opposite, that's the O in soap. The O in soap stands for opposite. So the opposite sign of what you started with. So if it was the sum of two cubes, you're going to start with a negative. Oh, you're going to put a negative there. And then if it was the difference of two cubes, then you would put a plus there. And then the A and the P in soap stands for always positive. So no matter what, if you started with the sum of two cubes or the difference of two cubes, that last sign is always going to be positive, baby. So that's it. First one, second one, first one squared. First one times the second one, the second one squared. Use some soap. Same sign, opposite sign, always positive sign.